Hello and welcome to Enjoy the Guitars, Carlos here. By the end of this video I'd like to make a real test with the focalizer. But uh, to get to that point we have to do a lot of things. So let's get started. First of all I'm going to add some electronics to the bass but uh, not uh, the ones that came uh, from the factory. Um, this bass has a, what we call a passive uh, pickup, which is a pickup that doesn't need an external battery to work. But uh, here in the electronics, you can see this uh, PCB board here that um, actually needs batteries to work. But I don't need these electronics. I just need a volume pot to control the volume of the base. So I'm going to remove these two pots here and only use this one and connect it to the output jack. I need also a ground connection for the bridge but I don't know where I'm going to put the ground connection because uh, the bridge is actually made in um, wood filament so um, it's going to be a little bit weird. This should be enough. You have the hot connection to one end of the potentiometer right to the out and the other end is um, grounded and from the out of the potentiometer right to the output jack and all the ground connections are attached. This is going to go to the bridge somewhere and we are ready to go. The next step is to reinforce the bridge. As I said before, this is um, this bridge is uh, 3D print was 3D printed in the, with filament. Uh, it turns out to be stronger than I thought, but it's not going to be able anymore to have um, a set of strings in full tension. So I'd like to reinforce this part here with some wood, maybe, um, and then string the whole base. For that I'm going to remove the focalizer as well. Uh, that is going to make things a little bit easier. And once the uh, base is fully uh, set up, um, I'm going to reinstall uh, the focalizer again. But let me talk about our Instagram account a little bit. Mario is doing an amazing job with it and it deserves a proper shout out. I mean, check out this feed. Please visit us there to have more info about what we're doing here in Nanjuda Guitars about the stuff we make or repair or restore and of course our call out with Martin and the MMX. The bridge has been reinforced with a, a super glue 
Um, it seems to work okay. I left the base uh, in full tension overnight and it didn't crash. So, so far so good. Um, the base is uh, in tune. The action is set. As you can see, I made a pocket in the front of the bridge just in case. Maybe the lower gear may interact with the upper part of the body. So we are now ready to install the funk collection in place and figuring out something for the felt part. Did I say this is the first time I do something like this? Well, it is. Just a quick update before the test. Um, as I have to disassemble the funkalizer every time I have to do something in the base, that gives me the opportunity to make little changes here and there in the device. This time, for example, um, I get rid of the seal clips that uh, actually they were doing nothing. As one of our viewers, David Jones, suggested in the previous video, it was maybe interacting in the gears in the teeth of the gears and uh, they were probably causing a problem. Also all the holes in the walls were taken to 6.5 millimeters. That way uh, there is a bit of slack in all the crossbars. It helps a lot. Now the device is very smooth. Now it seems it has no friction at all. It's, it's pretty smooth. So. Big change in that point. This is a little piece of uh, DM that I have around, and uh, the foam is used in thermal isolation, and uh, it just uh, the 
form with the, the more density I had around in the workshop. There is a little bit of sanding to be made here, but it's perfect because that with that little sanding you have the opportunity to lock the device in an open position, which is going to be very appropriate for the testing. Uh, that way I can uh, use both hands to play the bass instead of get uh, worried about the position of the funkalizer. And I think it's everything, so let's make some tests. Okay, here we are at last. The bass is connected to the amp and the amp is connected to the smartphone, which is going to be the device where I'm, where I'm going to record everything via USB. So what I'm going to do is breezy. I'm going to play some notes in open position and in closed position, and then uh, we are going to compare both of them. So let's get started. sustain as expected. It sounds weird in the in the low notes something is happening with this string but it's not um, something uh, with the funkalizer it's something in the bass so now I'm going to do exactly the same with the device uh, in closed position so record and let's close it yeah there is a difference Looks interesting. Um, now I'm going to prepare everything in the computer and uh, we're going to discuss a little bit and have some conclusions. So here we are in audition. Just two tracks. First track is the open notes. The second is the closed notes. In order to synchronize everything I had to cut the closed notes. Um, so that is already saying that we have a closer sustain, uh, which means a shorter note, uh, which is exactly what we wanted. So let's hear some uh, notes. This is open position. And this is the same note, but in closed position. More or less same attack, but less sustain, let's this is the low string. And now in closed, same note. Although it's obvious that the notes are shorter, this is not exactly what I wanted to have. So I'm going to tweak a note just to show you what my goal is. So let's mute the open notes. This is one random note, like that. And if we go here and make a fade out, 
High attack, no sustain, and the note is mute uh, within two seconds or less. As a conclusion, I have to say that although the Funkalizer is doing what it was designed for, um, I feel a little disappointed because uh, it doesn't mute the strings um, as hard as I would like to. And uh, there is another problem that I didn't say before, it's that the pitch is not um, perfect and we need perfect pitch. If we don't have perfect pitch, there is uh, no reason for the Funkalizer to be. Music is all about being in tune, so... But I don't want to finish this video in the low side. I have made um, a huge progress so far and there is still a lot of room to improve. I think it's time for me to look for uh, feedback with Martin and, um, and to check the list that I have been making uh, these past days. A moment for settle down things a little bit and check everything and rethink the design and all of that. Um, so that's all for now. Hope to see you next time. See you.